In our last video, we learned how to create dynamic menu within Excel user form on our interface, dynamically change menu icons on runtime, add a hover effect, and dynamically change menu colors based on user selection. In this episode, I'll show you how to create multiple pages within the same interface and link or point them to the menu we created yesterday. So the user can click on the menu and it will open respective pages. We also will quickly talk about challenges and limitations you might come across and some of the solutions to that. If we follow this approach, we do not have to create multiple forms for different pages, which means we do not have to recreate the menu and other controls, and it also will make the movement within interface smoother without having to interact with multiple forms and pop-ups. So quickly, if we look at this, when I click on dashboard, it opens up the page for dashboard. That is also a landing page. And then when I click on expense, it goes to the expense page. When I click on approver, it goes to approver page and so on. So in order to achieve this, I use the multi-page controls. But there are certain ways to, you know, like uh, hide the tabs and so on. So let me quickly demonstrate that. Um, for us to be able to toggle between this environment, I'm using the PowerPoint uh, editor for now. So here I'm inserting the user form. And then within this same user form, what I did was I used this multi-page control like this, okay? So here, as you can see, by default, you'll have page one and two. And if I select this uh, user form uh, multi-page uh, and see the properties, you'll see you can change the background of this multi-page and the four color and so on. Uh, here the orientation is, you know, like you can have these tabs at the bottom, you can have it at the left and right and so on. Here you can also change the, you know, the page to uh, type to buttons or you can hide it entirely. Okay, so what I did was um, when the page is loaded, I hide it, you know, like automatically I'm hiding it. You can also turn it off. When you're designing it, it's good to have these um, tabs enabled so that you can easily move between them. And what I did now after I added this was um, I added different controls within the page. For an example, um, we're going to talk more in detail about how to create the input forms. But for now, uh, I created the background like this and then I put uh, something like this on top of it. And then I put the color, the back color to something blue like this and this layout to be something white something like this okay and when the page is loaded I made it to um, so in this slide I say me dot user me dot multi page one dot value equal to zero so that will load up in the first page if you put it as so if i load this up now it goes to the first page but if i want the landing page to be in the second tab i'll do it in this fashion so it goes to the second tab okay the other thing i did was uh, i changed this um again the style to none like this okay so it loads up like this the other thing uh that you'll come across here is that you're able to change the background of this um the multi-page but you'll you'll see that um, once you go into this page there is no way to change the background so what I did I created another um, background for this um, the same theme as the form and then I exported this image again and then I automatically on runtime and I assigned the picture picture to this particular page so that the theme is you know like consistent the background is consistent in different uh, in different pages as it goes to different pages okay so one quick thing to note here is that it's uh, it's better not to directly uh, assign an image like this from here instead on runtime you can use a code to automatically assign a picture and uh, select the, the mode the picture size mode that you want to assign it to the page so that your user interface is much lighter and then the, you know like response will be much faster so going back to our interface let me just enable this style to tabs. So I've created it in this fashion, if you can see. It. So this is dashboard, this new report, and then and so on. I've created these multiple pages. 
but as you can see here that there is no image assigned to it so I'm doing this automatically on runtime once you download this form uh, you'll see that I use this to assign the background image on runtime automatically okay I think we can make this improvement let's go page background and string because they're all using the same background image so I load it up now so the other thing that you'll observe here is that once I load this up, though I'm hiding these tabs um, automatically when it loaded, you'll still see that there is a small, you know, like uh, like a layer, like some sort of effect. So um, once your design is complete, you can totally turn it off manually from here. That way you'll not see that effect from once it's loaded. So you can go here and then select it to none like this, okay? right and one more thing so how do you link this to these pages is that you already know that once you click on this the events for these clicks are handled from this class control here so if you scroll here you'll see that um, I'm saying if the menu name if the button that was click the name of that button or the menu is dashboard I'm saying this form I've changed the name of the form user form to to exp aap fr I've already changed it like this and then um, when this from this form for this multi page I'm setting the value 0 0 is starting from 0 is 0 is the first page okay similarly for if the menu clicked was expense I'm saying um, take it to the second page and so on I'm doing it for all this and here you'll see this is the header title the head title the name of this Caption label is basically is head title. So every time the menu is being clicked, I'm assigning a new label or a caption to that particular you know header. Okay. So if I load this up again now, you click on this, it goes to dashboard. Click on expense, it goes to another. Here's the button again. When you click on it, I'm assigning another page to this. It goes to this particular page. And then once I click on approver, then it goes on. And once I click on this, it just unloads the user form. Okay. So one last thing about this form is that once you add a control, they are independent. So let's say I add a button here and another button in page two here and load them up. They are, you know, like they are not dependent on each other. So each page has like a different, uh, it's like a new form in itself. So you can design whatever you want in these pages. So if uh, you need some more space to create this, you can create in another user form. You can cut and paste it here as well. So it's up to you how you want to do it. In our next video, we'll start creating user input forms or input screens within this interface. There will be multiple inverse. One will be at the report level and then one will be at the expense level, which will be at the ones the user clicks on this. It will go to this page. There will be another form here. And we'll also learn how to load data from you know like from the tables like category project names the currency and all to the form once we create a form we'll also learn how to write this data to expense table to you know like reports table so we'll t talk more in detail about that in our next video if you found this video informative please leave a like and a comment it will mean a lot i'll see you in our next video thanks for your support bye bye